Ah, this is a sad one. I was reading an article about Paul Stanley of KISS. He recently had a horrible experience with the flu. He actually said in this article he thought it was his time. See, they don't teach us this kind of stuff while in high school. I had a heart attack at the age of 47 in 2009. I was in the emergency room expecting God to say, Dude, it's time to come home. Thanks to my martial arts training, I entered a spiritual world that I didn't know existed. But at my age, would I really need it now? We question a lot of things in this everyday world. We face every moment, especially when it comes to the cough. Now, I've got a little bit of PTSD with that because when my sister started coughing, she didn't stop. Nor did she want to go to a place that would help her. She started getting really angry with me because I cared and she didn't want to hear how much I cared and what she needed to do in order to get better. But she didn't. Her heart eventually stopped. She disconnected from me because I was being very protective and I always thought that's what big brothers do. So to hear about Paul Stanley and how he questioned that moment, was this my time? We're at an age where we begin to realize that every day should be preserved and reserved as well as respected because this 24 hour period could be your final gift. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I am the silent wolf. I sit beneath the, the shrubs, the trees, and I look at life. I study life. I research life. I go into these projects not only to create conversation, but to be connected to newer ways to have a moment, a moment of peace, a moment of togetherness, just a moment. This is The Daily Mess. Are we living in the past when we're binge watching these old TV shows on the digital platforms? Of course, I did some research, and it says we don't do this just with TVs. We do it with books, and we also do it with music. The reason why we return to these forms of entertainment is not nostalgic. It's actually based on the measurement of personal growth. So we've been watching Scrubs on Peacock here in 2023. The show premiered in 2001. Who I am in 2023, he doesn't care about the guy in 2001. He just knows he goes to this show to be entertained. And so there's never really a time when I say, wow, what would it be like if I was back in 2001? People do. But you also have to understand that just because you find a show like Scrubs or Friends, you don't have to catapult yourself back to living in the past. Studies show it's how our presence in the place of now looks and how it feels and how we want to take care of where we are right now by watching things that bring us joy. We aren't yearning for the old days, but we're rather enjoying today. Everything that is happening right now can be a part of it. So we tend to watch the old shows and listen to the old songs because it brings us joy. It doesn't have to bring up a memory of a friend, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, maybe your friendship at high school. It doesn't have to do that. It's just something you enjoy in your present place of now. So don't jump back into your past. You can listen to the songs that your parents did and not have to think about your parents. Think about you. Be in your present place of you. Think of growing forward. I love articles like this. And the reason why, that moment where you go, God, man, that song from Queen is 45 years old. Oh, my armpits must be crusty. Oh, where's my gray hair? Oh, how many pair of tennis shoes do I have that came from that same decade? I actually have a pair of platforms that I brought from the 1970s, and I still have them. And I have seen them several times. But I don't think of the discos that I went to as a teenager. Oh, yeah, they built teenage discos. I don't think of that. What I see is a piece of artwork, and I enjoy looking at them. I'm not going to wear them. Not at my age, I'm not going to, because I may not get out of them. And number two, I may trip and fall. But it's okay to embrace something that is from your past, Just keep yourself from going back there mentally. Enjoy your moment of right now. Embrace it. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.